not that one. What am I doing? Um, let's see. You want me to check the group and just make sure it's not there? No, I, I'm pretty sure it's not there. Oh, it. Oh, it says live on Facebook. <laughs> I do see when I go to the group. I see our live there. So. <laughs> oh. You see some people. All right. There. So let me go back to. But it looks like it's on the page. It looks like someone already shared it. So maybe you shared it. Well, I shared it. Yeah, I was able to share and but it didn't let me say to go live, but maybe it just automatically did. Okay, <laughs> there we go. There we go. I, I'm there seeing go. myself like looking at the computer. Well, so. <laughs> okay, well, I'm gonna run back over. Okay. And let me just actually going to close my computer down just a slight bit here. It's not tempting for there little fingers. I do think there's probably a delay from when you post it to when I see it finally pop up. Yeah. Well, I thought I was posting on our page. Oh, and I do see it says live on Facebook. Yes, we are on the page. I just happened to see Perfect. it when I went into the group because it shared it there. Because I shared it there. Sweet. Yeah. Thank hey, you everyone friend. for being patient because we are yeah. trying to figure this whole thing out. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get better, we promise. <laughs> oh god, I hope so. We, we I hope it gets easier. More, <laughs> we just need a few more tries. <laughs> right. All right, I see eleven I see eleven people watching right now. Hi guys. Awesome. Okay. Woo. That's a workout to try to figure out. <laughs> All of our Zoom videos are going to start this way where we're frantically like between three devices trying to figure out what the trying to work. Doing. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, Rosanna. Rosanna's here. Hi, Patty. We're, and we're the technology geniuses at Softbox Company. So, I know. you know, Seriously. that's telling you something right there. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Uh silly, huh? Donna so here. Are, Hi Donna. Um, Hi Donna. We are going to be opening up the little uh surprise that we did over my birthday. We only have a handful of these left, but you can still order them on the website softlexcompany.com. It is Sarah's beachy birthday surprise. And it's basically a little beading kit. And both Kristen and I are going to open it up today and make something with it. So I have to say I cheated. I've already opened mine earlier today. <laughs> <laughs> I oh, needed to Kristen. kind of, I don't know. I've just had a, I've had a, a rough morning and I just needed to bead a little bit today. So yeah, you needed to just like <laughs> hold beads in your hand and calm and cool. Reflect. Exactly. Hi, well, Susie. That's what Susie's the beach here. is supposed to be for, right? It's supposed to bring you some serenity. For so, sure. um, I think I would say I, I know we have less than ten of those left. So, if anyone's watching and they really like what we're opening, you're going to want to jump on it and grab it over at softlexcompany.com because we are getting dwindling down. These were, yeah, it's a um, one of a kind thing. We're not going to do more of them. I mean, all of our kits are kind of like that. We do a specific amount, and then once those are gone, it's just they're gone. We do something new. So I'm going to flip down and I'm going to open up mine since Kristen already opened hers <laughs> <laughs> to show you what's inside. And then I will make something, and then we'll flip over to Kristen and she uh, will make something too. So everybody's, I hope, seeing us okay. It's so weird to not be able to see comments because um, I'm used to. I know. Sarah's kind of on a different device, so she doesn't, you're not seeing it. So I am here trying to help Sarah with the comments. So you'll see me kind of looking down a lot, trying to see what you guys um, are saying. Okay, perfect. Okay, so I've got my uh, beachy surprise. I'm going to open this up. And we're going to take a look inside and then make something with it. We also wanted to point out that we have some new items that went up this week. And some of them actually go with this almost perfectly. 
um, especially these beautiful new check strands. We have a limited quantity of these. And maybe this is a great time um, for some feedback. If we run out of these, do you guys think we should order more? Because um, I think I can get more of these if I need to. So give me feedback in the comments and I will read them later um, and see what you think. But I, I can possibly get more. I can't get any different colors. These are the only colors available. Um, but I think I can get more if you want more. So at any rate, look at how well um, some of these strands match the bead mix that is inside of the surprise. And I should note the bead mix was custom made and it was like made in a, a big, um, like a big pot basically. And so just like soup, <laughs> like you're going to get some pieces that are different than other people. Um, you may get more daggers and they might get, you know, two of these big brown leaves. Each one is going to be oh. a unique mix of the same color assortment. Um, so I will open mine up, but Kristen's may look a little different than mine, which is kind of fun. And she'll probably I can already tell different. you. Yeah, I you can don't already tell that. you that mine does. Yeah, mine does look a little different, which is which is nice. So it'll be fun to see um, what you get and what I got. Mike Sherman mm -hmm. is here. He says hello. And hello, Mary Jo says, I love the prints on your wall. Thanks, Mary Jo. Oh, thank those you. are my paintings. Kristen, paint those. <laughs> Aren't they beautiful? Hey, did you put a top I did. layer? On I your did. Paint? I was going to tell you that. You yeah. suggested it, and I did. <laughs> it looks good. But now you're in landscape. <laughs> right. You still can see a way but above my head, good. though. So. <laughs> yeah. Kristen has some beautiful paintings um, to check out for sure. Um, and Thank she doesn't you. just paint, she uses them, you can get them on like mugs and pillows and all sorts of things, yoga mats. So that's Yes, kind of I just started cool. doing yoga mats. So for, yeah, so that's been pretty fun. Ah, yeah. All right, Sarah, let's Very see cool. what you got. Okay, it's going to be too big for me to probably put in one handful. So I'm just going to kind of dump out in the center here and then I'll bring it closer for you to see um, as I kind of sort. I'm going to do a quick sort. I can tell, you know, this is a special piece already. This will make a great centerpiece for a necklace, this big, beautiful brown leaf. Are you seeing that pretty well, Kristen? Kind of hard to see on my screen. It's a little bit blurry at the moment. It's, um, yeah, get back that's a better. Bit. Yeah, there yeah. we go. That'll give me an idea of how close to get and how far away. Ooh, I love these daggers. These beautiful, like, um, oh, beautiful blue daggers. I only got a couple of those. And it looks like I got them in a variety of sizes, which is interesting and could be kind of fun. Looks like I've got two pairs and then one that just kind of is its own unique dagger. See, so the one that you got that's unique, earrings. I... I got a couple of those. So I got a few of those. And then I cool. think I might have gotten one or two of the others. But um, oh, cool. yeah, it's so neat to see how they're going to be slightly different, different. It could be. Yeah, it's basically the, the mix is based on the colors that I wanted. And then um, he just mixed a bunch of stuff together to create the, the overall mix. And then they just scoop it out. And so that means that everyone gets a little bit of something different. So I've got a bunch of these really cool little amber colored flower or, uh, leaves as well, which I love. Love those. I got a bunch of those too. They're so pretty. Um, let's see, Donna saying, I was able to get three strands of the check glass I think she's talking about. Ooh. Haven't gotten them in the mail yet, but looking forward to seeing what I will do with them. Oh, awesome, good. Donna. They're so pretty. That. So we know if we should get more or not. Or if you want to just see like a totally different check glass, that would be good to know too. And the purple actually matches the new um, purple polka dot bead strand almost perfectly in the check beads. So you could get these two strands and they would work well together. And then of course this strand goes with the new kit. So 
you really couldn't go wrong with those three items. Doing all three. And I should mention, actually, now that you said that, um, we are doing a, a deal this week where we are giving away five fifty dollar um, shopping spree gift certificates. So for every order you place that's over fifty dollars, you'll get one entry. If it's over seventy-five dollars, you'll get two entries. If it's over a hundred dollars, you'll get three entries. And then uh, next week we will be choosing five winners to get fifty-dollar gift certificates. So that's a lot of fun going on right now. If you were thinking about picking up a kit, you could just add a bead strand in there and probably the check glass, and you'd be at your fifty-dollar order. So that would make a great bundle. Yeah, and then you get a shopping spree, which Yay. is fun. We did that last year, and the winners were so excited. <laughs> like, just $50 to just spend. That's pretty cool. So we've got some nice little blue rectangles. And I've got one big amber bead, which would go so well if I did a long necklace with this, um, this big brown leaf. That would look great. Some of these little guys. Beautiful. Lots of pairs of things in my mix. I'm surprised how many yeah. pairs there are. I got quite a few pairs as well. I made a little pile of things that were one off just so I can see, but for the majority, I got at least two, it seemed, of everything. And then that offers you kind of an opportunity to work on your asymmetrical uh, design elements, you know? When you have oh, sure. some one-offs. <laughs> Let's see. So what do we got here? Mary Jo says, my feet is going in and out. Did you say you painted them? Yes, I did. I did paint them, Mary Jo. And then Sue is saying, hi, everyone from Ohio. Robin says, hello. hello. Hi, Robin. Um, Scott is here as well. Hi, Scott. Oh, hi, Scott. And Scott Clark. Scott Clark. Yeah, Mike said oh, Scott nice. is here. Oh, they're both yeah. watching. Yeah. So very nice. Susie. Some beautiful says, green my beads. kit and beads will be here next week. Oh, so exciting. Ooh. <laughs> I'm excited. It's been fun watching what everybody is making with uh, the Amazon Princess design kit. You can see all of the posts starting to go up in the VIB group right now. And there's some really cool stuff. Look at this little cute little square with the little I hole in the top. Those. I love those too. Those are very nice. I've got so many little piles going. I'm going to go off screen. <laughs> There's a, an abundance of different kinds of beads in this mix, which is fun. These are what I'm really excited about. These little two hole, uh, light blue, baby blue, two hole beads. Did you get some of those, Kristen? I did. I got two different colors, like a, the transparent ones like you showed, and then I got an opaque color. Yeah, so all of this is, is high-quality <laughs> Czech glass beads, um, and then it's a custom mix that was created just for this kit. And like Kristen said, we only have a handful left, but we do have another bead mix coming out this month in like, I don't know if it's a two weeks from now, I think it's like two or three weeks from now, we'll have a large Czech glass bead mix coming out uh, that I know you guys are going to really love. So keep your eye open for that. I have a ton of those little two hole beads and then they come in a oh, different good. color too. Like a, another... that's the one I got. So I just, I just got a couple of each, but it would be cute for earrings or to kind of alternate those uh, transparent and the opaque ones. And a design. Ooh, yeah. That would be fun. I would like that. I have so many beads here. It's There are a lot of beads. Cuckoo. <laughs> I mean, for such a small, like, it's this is the smallest mix that we've ever ordered. And it's still a ton of beads in the mix. So I I'm love excited. those little discs. <laughs> They're really do you, cute. These ones? I do. Yeah. Yeah. I are you gonna use sweet. those today? What are you making today, Kristen? Because you've already had time. I to think am about making it. I'm making a bracelet. Yeah. I'm making a double strand like kind of wrap around bracelet. Oh um, cool. 
Well, yeah, I think I they've think got the different. idea. They've got the idea of, of what's what? in the bead mix. So maybe I'll just show the findings and the wire, and then you can launch into your bracelet, and I can finish sorting and figure out what it is that I'm going to do. <laughs> that sounds like a plan. <laughs> okay, so also in this, I got one of these adorable little tear cast mermaids. Um, I had used this in a bracelet for one of the design challenges, and I got so much good feedback about how much everyone liked the mermaids that I decided to add it into my birthday kit. And I used it in this way, but you can, of course, use it as just a connector or a pendant if you wanted to. Um, but I used it as a jump ring. So I turned it into a clasp, basically. And attached it on a bracelet. I don't know how I'm going to use it today, but um, I'm just going to give you that idea. And then there were some ear wires, and then a small package of our soft black sterling silver crimp tubes in two by two uh, millimeter size. And the uh, cherry on top is the ten foot spool of my favorite color of soft black beading wire. The turquoise color, which is perfect for the beach and just about perfect for every design that I have ever made. <laughs> I love using this color. Um, All, it's like yeah, a neutral so there's for 10 you. Feet you use that. it with everything. I know. Well, my house, like the walls of my house inside my house are painted in only shades of blue. So I, I am kind of a blue fan um, overall. So that's a great, and that'll be a really fun color to work with. So I'm excited to see what you're going to make, Kristen, and then I will finish sorting and make something after you. All right. Let's see. We got some comments then. We have Sheesh here. Hi, Sheesh. I see we're having a beachy day. We sure are. <laughs> and Robin yeah. says, Sheesh's Amazon items are amazing. They really are, Sheesh. You outdid yourself. That Wonder Woman pendant you wire wrap. So good. I was just blown away. Blown so away. So good. Um, <laughs> Robin, you are so awesome. Thanks, Robin. Tony says hello. Hi, Tony. Hi, Tony. Lori, love your paintings behind you, Kristen. So happy They're looking so at every one of them. Thank you. Mary Jo says me too. Yeah, I definitely paint really bright and cheerful. That's for sure. Mm -hmm. um, let's see. Suzanne is here. Hi, Suzanne. Diane is here. Hi. All right. So let me turn you guys down to my feeding table and show you what I've been working on because I did get started <laughs> a little bit earlier. Let's see. Spin around here. And I've got a few different wires on my table to share with you. If you guys um, love the mermaid colors, we've got this mermaid, mermaid lagoon. I think this is what this was called and it's a trio yeah. with a soft flex beading wire it's got the bone Great. the turquoise and the blue topaz it's a beautiful color combination and then we've also got if you just switch out the blue topaz the serenity is really pretty for beachy designs as well so this is the serenity trio so it's got the bone green turquoise and the fluorite and then lastly, we have our 2020 spring summer Pantone color um, quad that we put together, which would also be a beautiful color palette for beachy designs. It's got the bone, the turquoise, the purple amethyst, and the tanzanite. And this is a limited time. We don't we just do the quad because it's a like um spring and summer mix and it goes perfectly with the check glass. So I don't have the check glass in my position. Sorry, I say something and it'll switch to you. Yeah, I have the check glass and it matches the quad almost perfectly. It's such, it, it, we didn't even realize when we were ordering it that that's what was going to happen. Um, but it, it's a lot of colors that are in the quad. So these two items would go together very well. Awesome. Yeah, so I just wanted to share that with you guys. That'll be a limited time item, the quad, so eventually it will go away. Um, and so here is what I'm doing over here. I got started. I didn't want you guys to have to watch me do all of this stringing, but I got started on this 
extra long bracelet. I'm using the wonderful bead stoppers to hold off the ends. And I'll just show you, these are all beads from this beachy mix. I didn't use anything else other than what I got in the mix here. And then I've got the beautiful mermaid connector. Ooh. And then a whole bunch more. So this is kind of interesting. I've never done a bracelet that's going to wrap around my wrist like this before. And my initial thought was that I would do, um, I wanted to get to like 20, I don't know, about 15 inches, I guess. So my initial thought was to do half and half and have the mermaid in the center. But I found that that actually wasn't going to work. And the reason being is because I want the mermaid to sit in the center so I've got a shorter side here going around my wrist. And then I want a longer side to go up around and then come oh. back kind of underneath. You to do it like and then one clip. third of the way or something. Yeah. And then clip back here. Because if I did it half and half, I'd be clipping it very close mm -hmm. to where my mermaid was. And I didn't, I didn't want my clasp up where um, I had my connector. So that was kind of interesting for me to learn in this process is I wanted one shorter side and one really long side to make that work. So let me just put that down for a second and show you some of the beads I got in my mix that were a little different than Sarah's. So I got these guys here, which are really fun. They are like little pebbly looking um, beads. Ooh. And they run Those through the cool. center here. So these are really cool. I got three of those. I got some of these really bright, pretty um, circular ones. I've got a couple of these sweet little like, sage green leaves. Hmm. I, I really like these. I like these sort of, they're not daggers. They're just mm -hmm. long elliptic shape yeah mm -hmm. those are really pretty and and then I separated I love this guy I haven't used this one yet but that's a really big one big blue hmm. square which would be great for a pendant design and then I got some of these daggers and lots of beautiful greens I love this one. I only got one of it, but it's like another um, long oval and it's like a matte. So it's like a That's matte color. glass or frosted glass. I know. I, I was so color. excited about that one. I do. <laughs> <laughs> I do. I do. I do. So this is what I'm working on here. So I'm just going to keep stringing a little bit on this end and then I can add my clasp. And I'll tell you guys the measurements um, when. I'm ready to go when I'm ready to close it. So you have an idea of how long I ended up doing each side. And I'm just doing like a bead soup. So I'm just trying to alternate colors as I go. And it was helpful to see what I had one off of and what I had pairs of so that if I wanted to keep something around for, for a neck sure. for a earrings, I could do that and just focus on the one-off ones for this mm -hmm. kind of a design. That's smart. Yeah, I'm already thinking about earrings, and I'm like, I have to make sure I have the right number of beads for that to make sense. Totally. And bead stoppers come total completely in handy on this kind of thing because I keep wanting to check and see where mm -hmm. where this lays before I'm ready to put my clasp on. And I think I'm just about there now. I think that looks good. So let me do a little measuring for you guys. So on the short side of my mermaid connector, I have got about three and a half inches. And on my long side, I 
I've got 10 and a half inches. And that'll give me about, I guess it gives me 14 inches plus my connector plus my, um, my clasp. And you want it to be a little bit larger than your wrist. What I did at first is I took my measuring tape and I wrapped it around my wrist to see what I would need for going twice. And I came up with, I came up with it being 14 inches, but you're going to need a little bit extra space because you have to account for the beads being different sizes and you have to account for having a little space to get your clasp on um, and a little wiggle room. So I'm just going to take out my crimp tubes. I am using the ones that came in the kit. So they're the two by two they millimeter are, sterling silver crimp tubes. Yes, two by two millimeter sterling silver crimp tubes. The only thing I'm adding is a jump ring. <laughs> of course. I, I, <laughs> I could not do a jump ring, but I don't know. I just find it easy, easier for myself, especially on a bracelet, to have something that's <laughs> kind of loose like that. Uh, Sarah always picks on me because I'm like crazy with jump rings. But Kristen this is a great I... opportunity to use <laughs> a closed jump ring. <laughs> Kristen and I wrote a book together and I did the editing. And so I had to read over all of our projects and every single project used a jump ring. <laughs> and I was like, I did not a single one of my projects used a jump ring. And I was like, what is so... with all the jump rings? It's so funny. I didn't even know that that was like a thing for me until we did that. So pretty funny. So I'm using the magical crimping pliers. I'm going to place, I have to remember my camera's on the opposite side. So I apologize if I'm on the other side. I've got to place my crimp <laughs> right in the center of my crimping pliers. Give it a nice squeeze and it'll pinch my four corners. Turn it on its side. And then squeeze again. But this is a great opportunity to use a closed jump ring if you have one or a split ring. Because then it is nice and secure. You don't have to worry about it popping open and your wire sliding out. Mm -hmm. You can also just crimp a loop and attach to the loop yes. as well. And actually, I do that a lot with necklaces. Like I can just crimp this loop here and leave the jump ring off entirely and then just connect mm -hmm. to that. But I do, I feel like I need this little wiggly thing for my bracelet. On a bracelet. It's just, it yeah, feels more finished just, to you. Not finished. I just think it'll be easier for me to actually clasp it. Like to actually your, get a hold of it. Your design looks like a mermaid tail. Oh, Like the way does. that it's shaped right now. <laughs> it's like the mermaid, an extension of the mermaid tail. Now, I should probably look at some comments because I haven't done that in a minute. So let me go check and see what people are saying. I'm oh, going to yeah, go ahead and questions. put this clasp on here. So I'm just looping the clasp onto my softlex wire and then back down into my crimp tube. Wiggling it down to the bottom. Now you want to get your crimp close to your beads, but you don't want it to be like really tight. You want to make sure there's some wiggle room. So it's good to, before you crimp, make sure that everything kind of moves around and isn't super stiff. Mary Jo loves the mermaid colors. Suzanne has fallen in love with fluorite. Oh, it's such a beautiful color, fluorite. Let's mm -hmm. see. Sharon says hello. Lori says super cute. Thanks, Lori. Suzanne, I've never done a wrap bracelet either. She says oh, good. Uh, very nice. Nice. I know. I was like, it was definitely in my mind. Surprising I was just like, for oh, me. I'll just yeah. do half and half. And then I'm like, wait a minute, that actually isn't gonna lay and clasp where I want it to. Mm -hmm. um, oh, great. Thanks. I think we just added some memory wire online too. So if anyone was looking for memory wire, 
um, the bracelet memory wire because that's what mm-hmm. made me made me think of the wrap bracelet. A lot of times I've done it like that, but I've never done it with mm-hmm. the soft look. That's true. Um, yeah, so did- memory wire with this kit would be so fun because there's so many different kinds of beads. You could do a random assortment. Ooh, I'm oh, excited pretty. to put this on. Yeah, let's see. Are you wearing I love that, that color this charm. today? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> oh, of course. <laughs> we were talking the other day about how we design in a color that matches what we're wearing without even thinking about it. It just happens. And then you can slide it on after you've, you know, done your video or wrote your project or <laughs> Yeah, now whatever you're it is you're new on. all day. Yeah. Okay. So I love how this charm Ooh. is double sided. If I didn't say that before, but yeah. this turned out really cute. Tear and see now my clasp is stuff. because I made one straight. longer. My clasp is back here. If I had done half and half, it would have ended up up here with my. <laughs> It looks like it's a really nice length, too, Kristen. Like, it sits really nicely on your wrist. Yeah, I think it it turned out it's got just a little bit of give, but that's perfect. Mm -hmm. So the mermaid stays in place on the top. Yeah, and like I said, it's great that it's double-sided because now you can see the little back of her hair. If it flips around, it's not just like a flat thing, you know? Really cute. They're so good with that stuff. All right. So what have you got going on? I finished sorting my beads and I put together a little earring um, that I'm going to show you guys how to make. And um, I wanted to use, if you can see, this two hole bead is a little off center. It's almost like a diamond. Um, And I've never worked with a two hole bead like that before. So I was like, oh, how interesting. I think I'll try that. And then I flipped it the opposite direction at the bottom so I think it created a really neat pattern um and it's a really pretty light green kind of a fluorite color to go with the turquoise so it definitely feels very modern beachy so let me make that for you are you still hearing me okay Kristen yes I can hear you just fine and I love seeing all your beads (laughs) oh yeah like all out in the open laid out like that yes I wish I could not you're you're so good with not having to use a bead mat (laughs) oh yeah yeah it's easier on a white background for me to see what colors and things I have so are you doing something to create a white else or do you want me Um, to uh, work on this earring no, I want you to keep get going on your earring. I'm going to actually... Um, Why don't we we've create got a, bunch a white more comment that? here? Why are you saying someone? We really should. We, yeah. <laughs> we really should. <laughs> I would I love mean, that. What? <laughs> <laughs> Suzanne. Well, let's do Suzanne that tomorrow. She, she lost some beads um, from her Amazon strand down the sink because she did not use a <gasps> bead stopper. Oh, no. no. I tell yeah, you, bead no. stoppers make, what is a bead stopper? A bead stopper is this lovely Terrible. contraption here. Yeah. <laughs> it makes such a difference. Um, yeah, especially for Kristen. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Tony says she usually doesn't use jump rings because she loves the color of the soft flex to show. Yes, oh. it is really nice. So I'm just stringing mm. in this pattern. I have my um, my two hole bead, and I've centered it on my wire. So I to put one wire one wire in the center on one side, one on the other, both wires through this faceted check bead, and then I just flipped the second bead in the opposite direction. Hopefully, you guys can see this. Okay, I can't see if you can or can't, um, but hopefully you're it seeing great. it all right. Oh, great. I flipped it in the opposite direction. And then all I'm going to do now is take both wires and string a two by two millimeter crip tube that came in the the surprise bag. And uh, these crip tubes are soft crimp tubes. So if you're familiar with us, you know, 
We are very big on quality, uh, especially with something like a crimp tube, which is so important to your design. And I'm just doing a little comparison, looking at my first earring to try to make it as similar as possible in uh, shape and size. And I think I'm almost there. That's always the trickiest part about making an earring. And I went ahead and just let my wires kind of double over in this case. I didn't put them straight next to each other. And that's because I want those little tails to kind of show separately rather than sitting side by side. I've got my two by two millimeter crimp tube, which is the only size crimp that will work with these magical crimping pliers. And I'm going to go ahead and come in and crimp. And my first pass should give what looks like a little four corner ravioli. And then I'm gonna flip it on its side and I'm gonna compress in those four corners and then just go around it gently compressing to create a little round metal bead that is anchoring my bead, my wires together at the bottom of the steering. And presto, I have got my earring and all I need to do now is take my ear wire and open it up to the side in the tip of my magicals. Go ahead and slide my earring on. And then I'm just gonna do a quick trim. So I'm gonna hold these kind of next to each other. So again, I can get kind of a similar length in my wire trimmings. And I'm just gonna come in and trim it about the same length does not need to be perfect. You can measure it if you like measuring things and you want them to be really identical. You certainly can do that too. Um, I usually just sort of eye it out though and get something pretty similar. And there we go. We've got a cute little simple pair of earrings and I've still got a zillion beads left to make other things. Those are great. I love those colors together. So pretty. It's very and Serenity a, trio. <laughs> it is. It totally is. Tony says she would totally buy a white bead mat if we sold that. Oh. <laughs> Suzanne. We already got orders. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I know. And Suzanne says, my husband took the drain apart for me, but a few of them had gone down. Oh. oh. That was nice of him to try and try and save those for you. Were they from the bead mix or were they from, were they like check beads from the strands? I think she said the strands, Suzanne. Was it the strands that you, What's the strands? Um, oh, I'm telling you before I use bead stoppers, I used to curse and just flip out all the time. <laughs> every time I bead that I was called, Sarah would call me the angry beater and my husband would ask me, why I was doing this he's like well, you don't seem to enjoy it <laughs> <laughs> and then I told her she should start a blog called the angry beater that would have been the best blog <laughs> but it was so true because every time I would finish something I would hold it up to try and see if I wanted the length where it was and it would fall every <laughs> single time <laughs> <laughs> oh it was comical you have fidget so fingers I totally have fidget fingers <laughs> yeah oh man and then once you've done it Look a number of times then you like panic every single time it's yeah really terrible. yeah then you're anxious about it it's just beat stoppers are just amazing you have to have them they're kind of they're essential they are mm -hmm. essential in my life Suzanne is saying, yes, it was the strand. Oh, man. Mike is saying he's love it. What, you love that I was an angry beater? <laughs> Maybe he loves my earrings. It could be your earrings he loves. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Well, well I'm going to um, make a matching pair of earrings. Oh, are you good? I have one more thing to show. I wanted, I was just looking at this. Did you guys see this gigantic, beautiful purple crystal on the end of the purple polka dot bead strand? 
Did anybody order this already when they ordered their kit? It, there are two of them on either end, and they're gigantic, beautiful purple crystals. Did you get this yet, Kristen, in the mail? Really? I did. Up? It's really, really pretty. It's so pretty. It, Love it. Oh, my gosh. Rosanna says, I have dropped <laughs> numerous pieces, but now I always use bead stoppers. Mm -hmm. They are crazy savers, says she. Yes, they are. I hope you ladies do more, do this more often. It's fun to watch you design. It is fun. We I like it, I think we too. will. We're enjoying it, too. Yeah. I think maybe you know, we've twice actually a wanted to. Yeah, we've wanted to do something like this for quite a while. Um, and I think it's just the technology. We just weren't there or ready yet. And it's so nice that it's mm -hmm. like, oh, yeah, this is what we wanted to do forever. This is great. This yeah. is now available to us. So yeah. Very cool. Kristen and I love hanging out and we can't, we live in different states now. So being able to hang out and then hang out with all of you guys at the same time is the best. All right. I'm just okay. doing one quick little um, earring yeah. here because I couldn't help myself staring at these beads. <laughs> Uh-oh. I see a necklace forming. <laughs> <laughs> these colors are really, really pretty. Mm -hmm. And so in this one, I'm doing the little leaf at the bottom. And then I've got this pebble-like bead and then um, one of the pretty turquoise beads at the top. And then uh, this one thing I like to do is I'll hold the crimp kind of in my crimping pliers, get it in position. And then I'll fiddle, fiddle with pulling the wire down to get my loops just right so I'm not squeezing it yet but I've got my crimp just sort of hanging out and I want to see how I want this loop to go so this one's got to go this direction yeah I think I've got it right here then give it a squeeze turn it squeeze it again go around a few more times and I know some of you I know I've shared this tip before but I never it's usually probably on YouTube not really here on Facebook so um I'm gonna share it here too for some reason with my particular crimping plier I don't know if this is always the case when I hold my plier with the um the diameters like this upside down and crimp, I get a good crimp, like pretty much every mm. time. And when I hold it differently, I don't always. <laughs> and I know that some people have struggled with getting comfortable with this crimping plier. And I just want to have you think about how you're holding your crimping plier mm. when you get a really good one. So when you get a good one, say, you know what, let me take pay attention. Am I holding it this way? Am I holding it this way? And the next time I go to crimp and I get another good one, look again. That's how I figured it out. Because I was like, why is it sometimes, and it could just be the way you hold the tool in your hand in one direction versus the other more mm -hmm. than anything else. I feel like for me, that's probably what it is. Um, but just pay attention to how you hold the tool when you get a good crimp. And you may find that when you're holding it a certain way, you're going to get a better crimp each time. And then you can just do that, you know, instead of not be, being unsure as to how how sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. That's just, fascinating. Just I've a never possibility. heard that before. Just, I was like, just a possibility. I don't know. I, I, yeah. I found that whenever I hold it this way with the numbers upside down, um, these diameters, it works better for me than if I hold it the other way. Huh. Odd. That is so interesting. <laughs> But here's my other pair of earrings. Super cute. I love the green, of course, oh, with the blue. I love it. Love that's it. So cute. I love it too. I'm just playing around over here. Um, I know we're probably gonna get going because we gotta go make dinner for our families and 
have a zillion things to do, but I, um, I just started playing around with the big amber colored leaf. And I think I'm going to attach my mermaid up here and then do kind of a Y necklace. So I've got my bottom of my Y and then have two strands that go up from there. And I will post Ooh, a I picture. I knew you were going to work. I knew you were going to work with that leaf. leaf. I know. <laughs> How can you avoid it? I mean, really. Did anybody else out there get this big leaf in theirs? Or was that just like a lucky shot that I got? <laughs> yeah, I didn't, I didn't see anything like that. I think that oh. you, I did get this lovely big square. And so I have a feeling that everyone yeah. probably got something, got something that was a little bit larger. Sizable. Yeah, it's hard to know. I don't get to see them. I just get to see a sample, you know, so I don't get to see all of them, um, which is a shame because I'd love to see what everybody's getting. We'll have to ha start having reveal pictures for the mini kits on the face or the yeah the Facebook group, so we can she see what everyone. She wants to show off that large bead. Oh, show it off! Oh, there you go. Yeah, I will. Yeah, because. We're seeing just kind of the tip of it. So, yeah, when you get a chance. Oh, sorry. Throw it off yeah. when you get a chance. Hard to see. <laughs> I'm crimping to my mermaid. And then I will definitely show it off. Let me just trim. There we go. Let's see if I can get a gang. Can you see that pretty well, Kristen? Yeah, just back up just a little bit. There you go. It's so pretty. Yeah, it is really pretty. Perfect. Very magical, like the little mermaid. Yeah. Very cool. I'm gonna have to order some of these little mermaids for my girls. They would love They're, love that. The quality is awesome. They really are really pretty. Yeah. Maybe we should sell those. I was so too. I was so excited I got one this time. <laughs> <laughs> I don't always get all of our all of our games, but I got this one. Yeah, yeah, we made enough <laughs> this time. There was enough to go around to everyone. Sometimes those things sell out so quickly; it's like you can't do anything. Um, right, can't keep them in. Yeah, keep yeah, them in place. <laughs> well, all right, my headphones are definitely fun. going out, so I'm gonna. You hear me? Okay. I can hear you, yeah. Okay, great. You want to turn back up? Yeah, it's all right. I'm good. I think we're closing out here anyway. Sweet. Um, yeah, so right now we've got a bunch of stuff available on the website. And, you know, both Kristen and I encourage you to go check it out. We've got our purple polka dot design kit available. It's in limited supplies. I think it's about 50% sold out. So... We've still got a good quantity. It just went on sale yesterday, but it's probably going to go fairly fast because purple is a pretty popular color. Uh, we've got our new check beads. We only had a small amount of each one. I may order more, but I may not, depending on the supplier. If you want me to order more, make sure you tell me so that I um, am prepared to do that and know that's what you want. And then, of course, we've got that purple polka dot uh, design strand that matches the kit. And we had our Amazon Princess Bead Mix, Amazon Princess Trio, and Amazon Princess Bead Strand are all online as well. So lots of options to pick from uh, this week at softlixcompany.com. Yay! Well, thank you guys all for being here. This was really lovely. Oh, Sue Pell got a leaf as well. Oh, Very good. cool, Sue. I can't yeah. wait to see what you do with I it, Sue. I love how the um I love how the purple strand has like so many a lighter purple, a darker purple, like a dusty mm -hmm. purple. It's got such a good mix of purples. So if you are a purple lover, you are really gonna dig it. And then some pretty silver too, like these big silver guys in the center here are pretty fantastic. Yeah. And a lot of, um, there's some bead caps and then this thing, I've never seen one of these on one of the bead strands before. It's like a bead, uh, what do they call it? Like a bead, it's not a bead cap. It's no, like it's a bead, a bead window. frame. We had them, remember we had them like a long time ago. I know, ago. what did we I call them? We had some bead, bead frames. 
Oh, bead frame. That's what it is. Yeah. 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 Those are cool too. Yeah. I can't wait to break this open and get to use it because it's got some really nice stuff on it. Yay. Well, thank Yay. you everyone for joining us today. And uh, we so appreciate it. I'm going to go to my computer to flip things off, Kristen. Okay. Okay. All and right. in the meantime, good. Just chat away a little bit. I may just <laughs> knock you off though. <laughs> yeah, all of a sudden I'll just be gone. <laughs> yeah. Well, suddenly. I got to finish my. So bye, everybody. I got to Thank finish you. my earring. Bye, Sarah. Eek. These are so cute. So here's what I ended up with. I've got my mermaid bracelet and I've got my earrings, and I still have a ton of things left. I can definitely make something else with what I've got left here. I am. Can you guys hear me? Oh, there you are. Let's see, I think I have my volume turned off. Okay, here I go. I am going to end the Zoom. Have a great day, guys. Bye. Bye.